Welcome to the user screen in the Planning for Profit software tool. This screen will show you who has access to your particular software account in the tool itself. Anybody who has access will be listed on this particular page. The admin or the individual who actually set up the original account is the one who controls who has access to the software and what elements of the software they will have access to. If I'm looking to add a new user to the software itself, I'll simply click on the add user icon in the upper right hand corner. If we walk through that real quick, we're gonna see this particular window is gonna open up and you can now enter in that particular individual. So I'm simply gonna put in here a new user, right? I'll enter in their name, what's their email address? And again, it's one email address per user. We can't duplicate that at all because the, it's the email address that, that, that really owns the account itself. Uh, and from this point, we've got a number of different items here. First off, user permissions. What do you want to grant this user access to? And so each item in there, you can actually you know, basically be choosing these individual checkboxes and grant access to do things or remove access. So maybe I want this particular individual to, uh, uh, to, to, to be able to set up users, set up a new company if they would like to, uh, or you know, we want them to uh, uh, basically deal with all the cost entries, right? I want them to uh, see the reports, but I don't want them to see the tracking reports or the calculators or the utilities, right? So uh, those things I'll just leave unchecked. So this is what dictates who that, uh, what areas of the software this particular individual will have access to. If I just simply wanna give them access to everything, uh, I can do that as well. Just uh, simply uh, clicking on the grant full access uh, for that particular user. If this user is going to be an administrator, in other words, they have again, the full same access that you do as an administrator, you would just simply check the administrator box that gives them access to all areas of the software itself. If you've got somebody who's set up as a salesperson and you really don't want them to have access to any of the software tools, all you want to give them access to is the job pricing calculator. Down at the bottom, we've got the salesman only version. If you choose that, the only area of the software that this uh, individual login user will have access to is the job pricing calculator itself. Nothing else will even be visible to them. Uh, so once we have that user set up and in there, we simply click on add at the bottom of the screen. They will now be added to the list. We can see here that we've had success. That user was created successfully. Now, one of the things that you can do in any of these users is I can see John Smith here is now added to the account. I can see his email address. Uh, now within here, I can see that uh, he's set up as a salesman. So I can see their role, how they're set up in the software itself. What is their current status? Well, John is still inactive. He hasn't even logged in, hasn't engaged with the software tool at all. And then you see the column over here with uh, actions. That gives you the ability now to go in and if I just click on those three dots for the actions, I can edit John, I can delete him from the system, or I can send him an email. And if I send him an email, the software will actually send it out. In fact, you see the note right here, right? You know, John can check his inbox, he'll have that in there. And at that point, uh, he can now, it's gonna give him directions to go in and set his own password for the software itself so he can access it and get the ball rolling. Uh, one of the other things, if I want to look at any of these other uh, um, uh, users in here, again, I can simply click on the three dots under actions for them and I can edit them. So maybe uh, uh, the sales uh, guy over here, right? Uh, we can see that he's salesman only. That's the only area in the software tool that he has access to. Last point that I wanna make is if you imported your company from the older desktop version, all right, so were you, you were using version six on your desktop itself and you imported the company into this software tool. You will notice that all the users that were set up in the desktop version will come over to here. This is an example where these particular individuals were set up in the older software version. So if I look at any of those, you notice the email addresses here first. Right, I can see the email address is uh, salesman2-7 uh, uh, at lpp.com. Right? What the software does is it just creates an erroneous uh, email address because in the old version of software, we didn't enter in an email address. So it just puts a generic uh, login right, that, uh, that, that we used for that particular software, that will be their login. You as the administrator can go into any one of those users, right? so I'll go into Glenn here, uh, and I'll, I'll edit Glenn, 
So I'm going to choose that. Uh, Glenn's screen will then come up at that point, and I now have the ability right here that I can change Glenn's email address and now put in a valid email address. Right, and uh, uh, once I go ahead, I can change his, uh, his access. I'll update that, and now, if I want Glenn to go ahead and log into the system, again, I can simply come back down here, send Glenn an email. The system will send him an email to uh, uh, actually go ahead and uh, have him, him now establish a password for this particular software tool. So that's the user screen. If you have any questions at all, don't be afraid to give us a call at grandiassociates.com.